past six, seven months, we've been working on a documentary called The Hidden Hair Stories, um, which was originally The Hidden Hero Stories. It's a documentary about four women. Octavia Hill, Claudia Jones, Amy Ashford Garvey, and Jay Bing Desai. We've learnt so much about them. The one who means a lot to me is Claudia Jones, because she was a really strong woman, and then she was quite sick for most of her life, but she carried on doing her things, and uh, it, like relates to me because I'm sick as well and she's strong she did it and she didn't let anything stop her and I think that's what I want to be like her. Today we've all got together we've actually put on the film for the first time um, first impressions it is wicked better than I thought it would be. I thought the film was great I enjoyed it um, it was better than I expected. I'm very pleased with the with the editing and I'm very happy with the film. I could see all the parts that we helped to contribute and um, we it was just amazing. I, I, I can't even believe that it turned out to be as good as it was. There's loads of highlights of this project. I'm learning loads, bringing out a magazine with the film. I would have never ever thought of doing that. We've been talking about that a lot and um, that's one of the biggest things. We're currently editing bits of the film to go in the trailer. A group of us just kind of getting down and trying to put the trailer together. And that's a very interesting process because I've actually been interested in finding out how editing gets done. Before the project started, before we started interviewing people, we learnt how to work with their camera at first. And I remember we grabbed the camera, we went out and uh, we basically had to do role playing and stuff. We had to kind of learn how to use the camera again. And we got chance, chances to uh, do different roles and interview each other. Why do you think that the youth has such a negative view towards law enforcement? Personally, I do not know. That's why I'm undercover here, trying to figure out why they hate the police so much. The role play character that I played was uh, David Attenborough. As you can see, this is a very eccentric piece of grass which uh, was a, an experience that I won't be forgetting anytime soon. Back when I was in my old days, when I was young and agile, I would say, and I was out in the Amazonian rainforest, and I had come across this amazing crossbreed between a lion and a tiger. It's what they call a liger. We'd done role-playing also, like, we had to um, make up a character, a female a builder. Well, I'm the only female, so it's a bit, um, what's the word? intimidating. It was at first, but now I'm used to it, so... <laughs> I was also a crackhead, playing a crackhead. Whatever happens, happens, innit? Like, I, I don't have any plans right about now. I don't have any left. Um, looking back at ourselves on screen was just, it was just absolutely hilarious. Look at the flowers, they're just so interesting. How could you not find them interesting? Come, look. Look at the green. Look at the way it grows. It is a very interesting experience being in front of the camera and also being behind the camera. Make new songs and make more songs and stuff and see what's, what's, what's in and out, out there and see, uh, like um, interviews and stuff. So um, get the word out. All right, thank you. And that was Mr. Vivian. and this is Kayan reporting for Grand TV. As an organisation, we're really happy with how Hidden Her Stories has gone so far. It's um, been a real success. All of the young people seem to have really thrived on it, enjoyed it. One of our young people, Hamada, came along and asked us if he could do a track for the film, which we thought was fantastic, and we organised that to happen in a professional studio. Mad love. Listen up. Hidden heroes, hidden her stories. Listen up. Being an MC ain't no different from being a singer. It has to be melody. The reason why people sing along to Jesus, no Toby, just, just, please us, which a lyrical visa, or whatever it is, Right? It's because Akala, who is a musician and a producer, and he also runs workshops with young people, agreed to come on board for this project, and he was really inspirational for them on the day. He gave a workshop on African history, on women, and we looked at greater detail at the four women of, of the song for them to write their tracks to. Why we judging girls because of their figure? Why we talking about shanks and making man shiver? We were discussing the kind of Garvey movement and um, the feminist movement and just the aspects and roles of kind of um, women within those movements. What we learnt today really helped me because, you know, it's just, just blatantly knowing the proper heritage of things. Because some spit for the love and others rap for a chain, but without a woman's ring you wouldn't be in this place. So why'd you go call your woman a hoe? If it weren't for a TV Hill, would we still have us a home? Don't complain about racism or oppression or nothing if you're not going to pick up a book and read it. 
certain times you go to school or something and it's not you're not taught you just information is regurgitated and it? it's just spat back out but this like i thought i went away and i've learned something if you got what i'm saying yeah. carla's made the, the definition of hood a different meaning to me i find that we talk to kind of young people that we do workshops with and we actually get their opinions and we have a conversation about the music that's out there i'm yet to do one workshop where they're like i actually think this music's really good and it's really positive and it makes me feel good about myself get money like a carla said buy a house on your neck but it's all wrong because you'll be living on a nervous wreck Young people ain't stupid. Like, they know that they're being fed stuff that is vacuous and is empty and is nonsense, but it's all that seems to be there. Where will we cherish our female prodigy? Through this project, I've learned more interviewing skills, whereas on Grave Roots, I was more working with the camera. I think this film project has opened a new path for me. It's allowed me to um realize my potential the most important thing that i've taken from um from this whole experience is teamwork i managed to uh, build up friendships with um the people that um i work with in this project and um, i think the biggest thing that i learned was definitely to compromise if it wasn't for this project i would have not known them and met them overall i think the project has been very successful i hope young people could take away knowledge from this most definitely um I hope they could go home and do their own research. Something else that is new for us on this project is the access options on the DVD. We have sign language, audio description. People strolling through a beautiful park in the summer. And subtitling on the film, which we've never had before, and we're really happy. Now we can have a number of accessible screenings for disabled people. In the future, I'd definitely like to use this experience to um, help me to tell some stories of my own, uh, possibly uh, some more stories out there that uh, haven't been told. Looking forward to taking the film on the screen and tour and also the premiere. This film looks, it has so much information and so much detail put into it that you wouldn't really think it came from a bunch of, like, a bunch of views, so to speak. Well,